Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Planet Zoo. So, last episode we were working on the palace and um, we've got some giant scorpions up there. And what I've done in the meantime is I've got in two orangutans. So we've got Ban... I'm just going to pause it because they've probably got low welfare. We've got Diane and Banyu. So Banyu is over here and he was injured so I think he's now coming back in because we actually managed to buy him injured. Here he is, our Banyu. Hello. Right, and what we need to do first and foremost in this episode is to basically make their exhibit a lot more homely for them. So what they would like is they want a hard shelter, their terrain isn't great and they want some climbable area. Okay, so if we come out the back here and made this a little bit rocky, if we go on rough, just so there's a little bit, oh no, like that, just so there's a little bit of a terrain sort of modification in our exhibit. Yeah, this just doesn't look so flat and boring. So I'll get, oh, that's because the null barrier. Let's undo that. And what I'll do is I'll, I can get some rocks or something up there just so it doesn't look quite so bad. And so that they can't escape. Smooth that out. Okay. And then if we move edit barrier, and if we move that, closer in then it looks like we haven't just plonked the fence down and then done the terrain hopefully a bit like that and then there that bridge needs to come down because we have got the um, anti-climb fencing and here it needs to be grass short uh, yeah, that's okay, that's okay, because you're not going to see that from this side, so. Okay, so they've got a little bit of terrain, and then they want climbable area, and they want a lot more soil, and a lot less long grass. More soil, less long grass. So let's get out some soil. I love, I love sort of starting to make a habitat where... You know, it looks like, well, not very good at first, and then you just transform it into something that just can look absolutely amazing. I love it. I just love the transformation process. Right, so they, they've have, they haven't got enough short grass. So in place, we'll just sort of get some patches of the short grass. I don't know what I said like that. The short grass. Just like so. So that's the terrain kind of done in terms of the biome um, i think that's probably enough of the sort of the rocky areas can i have a look at transversible terrain so that means they can okay and that means they can't get out of there i think We'll, um, we'll keep an eye on that. It has got climb proof fencing, so. Oh my god, no, it hasn't. Just because I've edited it. So from there, we'll just go all the way round. has to have climb proof on both sides. We'll unbox Diane. Prote I'm working on it. I assume that's because of the orangutans. I don't know why the protesters are here then. Right, so they just want more climbable area, which is absolutely fine. So let's get in enrichment items. We'll get some climbing frames in. Make sure we've got some happy, happy orangutans, you know. 
Um, just getting all sorts really, so they've got plenty of everything. For small animals. So if I go here, can I? Looks like they can sort of go on anything now. I'll get the roller feeder. Oh, musical keyboard. Um, yes. A large ball. I mean, who doesn't like to play football? You know, everyone wants to have a little dog at football, don't they? Um, suspended forager. Toy puzzle feeder. So get all kind of jazz out. Then we're going to want to try and get some water in somewhere. So let's go maybe this little area here. We get in some water. If we move that and we move that one to somewhere like over here, this is a nice little area that we can get in a little bit of H2O. Something like oh, that'd be massive. And if we smooth, smooth it out, I'm gonna have to get some water treatment over here, most likely. It's probably best at that um, rough rock and sort of mix it with a bit of soil here and there. Are you still okay for terrain, Banyu? He's actually likes his large shelter, but I haven't actually put any large shelter in here. He needs a lot more climbable area. I don't think that's counting. Let's have a look. Oh, no, no, that counted. So that's 83 metres of climbing sort of space. Let's get some... Okay. Um... It'd be cool if we could get this sort of like attaching from other we'll sort of get like a mixture of um bits and bobs 88 something was cutting as a hard shelter i don't know what And pause so we can see see the numbers go up. Yeah, he's escaping. Emergency capture animal. Right, so let's get the fence going up here. That might be the um the best idea just to make that wooden it's probably the best idea and that needs to be wooden um, with climb proof on both sides just easier to do it on both sides and then here that just needs to be moved up something like that Yeah. Then are you going to come back in here? I don't know how. I don't know who comes to get you. Who comes to get you? Relocating to habitat four. But how are you going to go up there and get him? Oh, he's back in. Is he back in? Oh yeah, there we go. He's back. Guess who's back? Diane's back. Back again. Right, they want a hard shelter. So you still actually haven't got quite enough of the climbable stoof. Farage. The Nigel Farage box. Get that in. Um, they, they just need some more climbing stuff there. 
we we'll just get loads of that out. We're, um, you know, we're nice zoo owners. We want them to just climb to their heart's content, really. Hard shelter. I'm tempted to just go for the blueprint. I know that's kind of cheating, but is it cheating? I, I don't. Hmm. I just feel like I could spend my time building, building a really nice house and all that kind of jazz. But I could just chuck this in and then just move on to other stuff. Oh no. Oh no. So let's pop this in that corner. We'll get our all this kind of sheltered stuff bedding because that should be absolutely plenty of space for them oh you guys are oh, look at me beautiful animals they really really are hard shelter insufficient space Apparently we've got zero climbable area. Um, I don't think that's true. I mean, you're literally climbing right now. Hmm. Insufficient size. But the habitat's massive. Like you can literally get to every single bit. Ah, here we go. Yeah, they're okay. They're absolutely loving life. Awesome. Right, so what do you guys like in terms of rocks and all that stuff? So yeah, you definitely want some coverage of Asian tropical foliage. You want tropical. So Asia, tropical. And let's start the process. So let's get, ah, I don't know why I always forget to feed my animals. So let's get a water pipe in. I always get a water pipe as well. But it seems like, for some reason, even if you try and um, just have like the standard water, it doesn't work. Why, why are you boxed? There's literally no reason for you to be boxed. That annoys me. That, good, that really grinds my gears. Let's get like, like coastal mangroves are cool. We won't get too many of them so they can look a little bit strange. Get some of this. Like viney. Stuff, that's pretty cool. The music, this game is just, it just you just feel instantly chilled, or I just feel instantly chilled. Just the music and... It's just lovely. Get some mangroves up there. Sort of on the hills. Um, oh, he's playing, he's playing the keyboard! How cool is that? That is cool, isn't it? Cap oh my god, that's the biggest tree I've ever seen. Found some bamboo. I want to get some bamboo down this side, just to sort of... I don't know. I don't really know what I was going to say there. I was going to say something. I don't really know what that was. So just trying to get in a tamarind... Oh yeah, I love the tamarind trees. They give them a really nice bit of colour. Um, get like a larger one, maybe up there in the uh, in the mountains. What else have we got? Got the bam. I don't really like the bamboo. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't like the bamboo, guys. All right. I don't know why. I don't want the fountain bamboo. I think the fountain bamboo looks nice, but the um, like standard bamboo, nah, not a fan. Custard apple tree. 
It just want, makes me want um, apple pie. So thanks for that game. And all the others are sort of absolutely gigantic. So they haven't actually got that much choice, really. Do you like this? Not enough coverage. Get some of the little more bushy type of plants on the floor. What else have we got? God, I really like the tamarind trees, but there's I feel like there's not enough of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just feel like there's not, I don't know, I don't like coconut plants. I'm sorry, but I don't. It looks too tropical for my liking. Some more coastal mangroves around the water. And I feel like over here we need a few more bits on the ground. Um, get some like ferns and banana, I don't like the banana palms either. Oh no. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so let's do that. We'll get rid of Asia and we'll sort of get in some rocks everywhere. But you know, I like how it's um, developed this episode. I think it, I think it looks cool. Um, please feel free to tell me if you're not a fan of anything that I've done. And, you know, we we'll, can change it up. Nothing is set in, <laughs> if you get the pun, set in stone. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. I actually can't help it sometimes. So we're getting some rock work. You know what? I'm actually pretty happy with this. It's definitely not the best exhibit I've ever made in my life, but I feel like it could be a lot worse. There we go. Right. So, are you guys all happy now? Hello, Diane. You actually still want more coverage of trees, which, I mean, it makes sense. So, let's go trees, and you want trees from the continent of Asia. Maybe let's get some bamboo at the back, just to hide, hide the fence at the back. Yeah, that's nice. Well, nice, I say. Do I get in the coconut palms? I'll get that one. That one's, I quite like that one. That was quite cool. What else could we get? I really like the kapop trees, but they're just too massive. I mean, I suppose we could just do some of that, but it shades like most of the exhibit. Fuck, it's too, it's just too large. I can't even see where this one, where the trunks are. How is that? Hello, Diane. I always pick, I always click on Diane, don't I? Right, yeah. So she's happy with that. So now we need to think about um, tickets around the price. Well, get over yourself. So let's try and get like a really nice viewing area in. So we're going to want to go off of here, probably quite large. We might have to go up, oh, just, okay, get, get off the path and then edit barrier there to there. Gonna go down to something like that. And that should be fine. I assume you guys can still not escape and be little buggers. No, okay, awesome. So now we can get path from okay, do you basically want to go up again? That's too oh well, I suppose that's not too high actually. We can get the fence coming back up so it's sort of flush with it. So then I want this to 
be something like that. But I don't know if that covers too much of the exhibit. You know, I don't know if it's a bit too... If you're here, I mean, it's great. You can definitely just see so much, but some of this is going to have to move. Let's move the feeder. Um, sorry, whoever, whatever orangutan that is, but I need to move this. I'll just move that to somewhere like there. This is definitely going to have to move because I thought like they'd definitely just escape. I'll move that to somewhere like there. Um, so down here, maybe we just get in some. Some rocks. Bit like that. And we'll get in um, we'll go continent Asia, just a few a few like on the floor plants and things. So if they don't want to be seen, they can go down there and not be seen. Which, to be honest, is fair enough. I wish I could just do that. Just not be seen for days on end. Okay, and then here we're going to have to go and get some donation boxes. Um, where have they flew off to? Oh, it's because I'm on that. So here, let's go for green. Yeah, they're cool. So let's get one, two, three. Then I'd like to get in uh, education board. Um, what's the right way? Yeah, definitely that way. Oh, that's a board. That's not a. I haven't even looked at these yet. Oh, so is that something that you can put the TV on yourself? Basically, it's pointless. Okay, let's have this come up. And that can go like that. Get speaker. Like that. Oh, that was perfect. Right, so we want to say, born in orangutan. Born in orangutan. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, he's playing with his box. That's cute. And over this way, I thought we could get in some of the boards, the conservation boards. So something like that. And we'll get quite a few in here, I think. If we get two in, and then we'll get a bench. Get a couple of benches in. So deforestation is going to be a big one for orangutans. That actually looks like it's got a picture of one, doesn't it? And then maybe something like climate change. Both very, very important important concerns of our day unfortunately but unfortunately that is the way the world goes so let's get bench sorry don't want to depress you too much and then a bin and there we go we've got our little orangutan area how cool is that i'm actually fairly happy with how that's turned out um i don't know why i just had this vision it was going to be really bad but i'm actually pretty happy with that not great from where silly people right one way that way. Path, get a path out. Uh, so come. Actually, it might be easy if I do the path here first. Then. So let's have that come in along there. Then just connect up wherever you want. And then we can get in some more. Actually, let's just duplicate those. And one more, please. Like so, and you can come down here and have a look in here if you want to. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then, like I said, guys, sort of between episodes, I'll do all like, the plant work. I feel like that's the kind of stuff that, I mean, I don't think it's very exhilarating, is it? So I'll do that off camera. I don't want to sort of kind of you know, like, bore you guys with it. So, so that's awesome. How's it going up here? Can I go inside, please? 
Yeah, looks like people are enjoying Scorpio. People have been donating, which is good. Are you still saying that? Oh no, because it was saying that this coffee shop was inaccessible, but I mean, it's definitely not. So let's go with some benches. Let's get a couple of picnic benches. And I'm pretty not too actually. Like that. Then we'll go for some of these. Definitely gonna need some bins. Like so. I'll get a bin there as well just in case anyone has got anything in their pockets. And I want to just sort of do something here like on the wall, but I don't know what. we go theme East Asia I quite like those boards they're quite nice if I line to surface what's it like ah, gonna get cold tennis syndrome up there they're quite nice actually let's get some of these out ah, okay oh not get some of those Um, yeah, it's probably actually we don't want to go too cray cray. We could probably get another shop in there, especially if we change this fencing. Should we try? Let's try because you know what's life without a little uh, bit of excitement. As Yoda once said, "Do or do not, there is no try." So actually, he's just telling me that I'm wrong. Which, to be honest, fair enough, Yoda. Fair enough. So let's duplicate. We're going to move that to there. Going to move. If I duplicate and advance move, move that onto there. Do the same again. We can angle snap, rotate. Get that one up there. The same there. And then can we get one that sort of sits in between? The same angle snap off. Not there. There. Yeah, it's very wonky. Can I get the terrain to help? Yes. Then smooth, smooth, smooth it out. Like that, that needs to come up a bit. Like so. But this one here, this one here is very low. So we can move that let's actually if we get another one of these bring out to that then do the same and we will turn it around and we won't do any fancy angles because that's definitely what's killing us so that Hmm. This one's not going to play ball, is it? That's not bad, though. I don't know why all of these are so um, cray cray. Let's bring those down. Something like there and actually that's quite cool and if we deleted that bench could we get in um, not that oh toilets is probably a good idea could we get toilets and a food store this is meant to look like it's sort of been overrun by tourism like that's the sort of theme 
I thought could be actually quite cool anyway. Um, I don't know what you guys think. I thought that was like a nice little addition. Like it actually looks like it's been completely overrun by tourism and you know sort of needs to be reined back a bit. So let's get a bit there. And could we get one more food store just in here? Be tight. And that roof doesn't really help. So if we edit this. Yeah, that's the problem. Hmm. I mean, does that look awful? I don't think it looks awful, does it? Kind of looks like it's meant to be that. It would have been better to have a bit more space up here to do this, but we can only use what we have given to us. Get to facilities, we're going to want some food. What should we go for? Ice cream, that'd be nice up here. Come up here and have a little ice cream. What way round? That way round. There we go, cosmic cow ice creams. So if we go into here, we go ice cream. Get out of East Asia. Go on all. Okay, what about cosmic? Milkshake ice cream. Do I spell an ice cream wrong? Okay, so let's go with that. Maybe there. Well, if we get rid of that window. Cosmic cow. Then we can get in, <coughs> excuse me, get in the sun. And there you go. It's a nice little area up there. I like that. Offspring? No, really? Was they pregnant? Oh, we've actually had. I always forgot we had a one male, one female. Yeah, of course, that makes a lot more sense now. Anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. We've got an hour around towns, Banya and Diane. What I'm going to do is in between episodes, I promise I will try and dole this up a little bit with some plant life and some rocks, make it look a little bit more natural. And I'll see you again very shortly in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. See you again soon. See you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day, see you later.